Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You don't happen to have any toilet paper, do you? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> no, just kidding. The way you hang your toilet paper says a lot about your personality. Are you an over or an under? We're going to find out on this very episode of Men Are So Smart. Okay, so here's a question. Oh, oh first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ready to go. Uh, this is Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. He is Corvette Ronnie. Uh, our email addresses are coming across the screen right now. If you ever need to communicate with us via email, or if you'd rather leave a comment below, you can do that. Uh, this show going to be good. It's all about toilet paper, yeah. so you're going to want to give it a thumbs up at the end, and also subscribe to our channel. We really could use a few new ones this week, and we'd like for it to be you. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, great. Okay, toilet paper. When it comes to it, are you team over or team under? Corvette Ronnie, yes, you go ahead, please. Under. You're under. I am an under. Okay. Yeah. You know how we always agree on everything? Hmm. Not this time. Yeah. I am an under. No, you're an over then. Over, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking at this drive here. <laughs> I am an over. I like it over the top. You know why? I think it's neater that way. The cut that you make on the perforation. See, and I like it under for two reasons. <laughs> we used to have indoor cats. Oh, yeah. And if it's over... Uh huh. They do this, uh -huh. they can unroll the whole roll. And they're not smart enough to do it when it's under? Um, it's, I think Seriously. it's a little harder for If it's for them dangling there, it don't there. matter. I don't know. I just, right. I've had better luck. Okay. But the, the other thing is, yes. it the end is tucked up right up against the cupboard. Okay. So it's to me, it's neater. I see. Instead of hanging out three and a half inches away mm -hmm. from the cupboard mm -hmm. where it drapes down, mm -hmm. It's right up against the cupboard, so mm. it is. It's a little neater. Wow. Okay, well, there is actually a correct way, Ron. Well. According to, and if there's anybody that knows toilet paper, it's Oprah. She knows everything. Well, of course she does. Plus, here's what it says about your personality, okay? Okay. It, <clears throat> it seems the correct direction to hang toilet paper over or under has been hotly contested in American households for decades. And as it turns out, there is a right and there is a wrong way. Yeah. Uh, an old clip of the former Grand Dame of Daytime recently surfaced, unearthing yet again the great toilet paper debate once more. Back in the 80s, the O of Oprah polled her very vocal audience Asking whether they preferred uh, when the toilet paper unwinds uh, over yeah, yeah. or under no. the spool. No. After much clamoring, Oprah declared, you get a car and you get a car. She did not. No, she didn't. Oh. Uh, she proclaimed, uh, that, let me say that I, Oprah Winfrey, mm -hmm. am You're an Oprah Winfrey, over Ron? girl myself. <laughs> Oprah's an over. She's an over. Me and Oprah. Which was met with wild applause. Oh, I'm sure it was. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, you know, all wow. of America wanted to know. They're going crazy. Way more happy than, mm -hmm. you know, say, getting a car. Mm -hmm. uh, the talk show host <laughs> explained, I prefer it over because it tears so readily. What did I just say? Champion of Team Under, which was only about 32% of the audience, uh -huh. were met with uh, a chorus of boo. They're not saying boo, they're saying Lou. <laughs> <laughs> or in my case, they're not saying Lou, they're saying boo. boo. Okay. <laughs> of course, you know, as men, we have to admit that what Oprah says goes. <laughs> uh, but it should be additional comfort to fellow members of Team Over that the role was indeed designed to be pulled from above as clearly stipulated in this patent that we're showing right here from 1981. But I think it was 1891. That might be a typo. Oh yeah. Because I looked, I looked at the picture. Uh, I, don't th I don't think they patented toilet paper in 81. I yeah. remember using it as a kid. <laughs> we should start doing research. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> I don't remember a lot as a kid, but I do remember using toilet paper. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Since 1891. <laughs> but also, <laughs> I got to get a hold of myself a lot. But also, it's actually even more sanitary to hang the paper over, according to a study which identified 19 strains of bacteria lingering in restrooms. I have at least twice that many in my bathroom. <laughs> I've been in your bathroom, I agree. In fact, I've done that research. One of the most popular groups, E. coli from your, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Your, you know. From, yeah. from that planet, the, the, Uranus. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you're most likely to have it on your fingers. Really, I gotta start pre-reading these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why you don't buy one plate toilet paper, by the way. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. So if that tissue is hanging under, <laughs> it's more difficult to get a good clean tear without having to contaminate the rest of the roll while you're fishing for your square. Please, Ronnie, go on. Yeah. Uh, but let me see. Uh, and it's more difficult to get a good clean tear, yes. Uh, but if it's over, mm -hmm. you'll only be touching the part that's about to get flushed. So that's, see, it makes sense, yeah, Ronnie. That's science I know. right there. Science! science! Uh, and now for something a little less er scientific. <laughs> the uh, more you know. According to relationship expert, Gilda Carlisle. Oh, Gilda, how is she? Uh, part of Don't Lie on Your Back for a Guy Who Doesn't Have Yours. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I'm okay. not sure I'm a fan of Gilda's right now. <laughs> <laughs> Your preferred hanging technique also speaks volumes about who you are as a person. Okay. In 2016, she conducted a survey of more than 2,000 men and women, aptly called the Toilet Paper Personality Test. That's crazy how she came up with that. Yeah, that, it's very creative. Yeah. Toilet paper. Which asked folks whether they self-identified as dominant or submissive. What? And also, you guessed it, how they hung their toilet paper. Oh, that does they don't the two don't even correlate, if no, you ask me. No, they don't. Uh toilet everyone who claimed they were dominant also happened to hang their toilet paper over while people who were submissive hung it under. They were the unders. Honestly, in this household, I'm just happy if somebody replaces the toilet paper. You know, my question is, what's the over and under on over or under? <laughs> <laughs> Carl warns that if you have two overs in one household, it can lead to conflict. Hmm. With two submissives, nothing will ever get done. And it'll only just be that inner side roll hanging there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, the simplest way to avoid this potential problem, yep. She suggests asking prospective mates on your first date about their toilet paper. Over or yeah. under. Are you an innie or an Audi? <laughs> and also, are you an over or an under? Yes, I'm an Audi, 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> While I don't see that prompt taking off on Tinder anytime soon, she might be onto something. After all, this theory would mean that Oprah's personality is dominant which obviously she is. Yeah, I think that goes without saying. Uh, okay, so toilet paper. You get a roll, and, and you, you get a roll. No, I got a roll. <laughs> Thanks, Oprah. You're the bestest. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up this episode of Men Are So Smart, the toilet paper episode. <laughs> a lot of science in there. I hope you gave a clean thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. uh, if you'd like to get a hold of us for any reason, you can send us an email privately at these email addresses that are going across the screen right hey, in now. the comments why don't you tell us if you're an over or an under for sure or if you even use toilet paper since it was only invented in 1981 <laughs> yeah well i'm new to this whole toilet paper thing even though i was born you know i was born in 1959 i don't think we had it back then <laughs>
<laughs> well, it was uh, probably a couple years before you used any, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our channel for more hilarity as this. And uh, when you do, please click the bell, and that way you'll get new notification. 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 Yes. Well. Yes, we'll give you nudes. <laughs> no, you don't want No one wants Nobody that. Nobody wants that. All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Thanks for watching. to have a white square so I take it we're rolling we are all right because I am ready to go okay I hope you're happy oh my, I, I will be my elbows on the right on the line I'm sorry make yourself at home Ron okay wow you want to sit on my lap maybe all that scooch in my chair for it I know I'm more out we maybe we should wait a second here <laughs> Uh, you know what, coffee? You know what, squirrel? Whoa. <laughs> Did that really happen? Mm. Okay. Do you know what time I made this coffee? Uh, About 4.35. And it's still hot? You betcha it's still hot. Wow. You know why, tell Ronnie? Me, tell me about that cup. Have I told you about my cup? <laughs> <laughs> Once or 200 times. Once or 200 times. Okay, well, 201. Yep. Uh, it keeps my coffee warm. Keeps, and the amazing thing is yes. it keeps hot things hot uh -huh. and cold things cold. That's a miracle. How does it know the difference? As seen on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do it know? I don't know how it know. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. Make sure that's right.